Dry Welcome red eyes, ground, dry clear eyes, which helps moisturize. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Welcome. Ow! That we hurt. are not sponsored by anyone. <laughs> we are never going to be sponsored by anyone at this rate. There is both open to you. Great <laughs> cyber technology. <laughs> Can you so flexible and lightweight, it can be juggled. Oh yeah, like I said, that's Ko's juggle. Ko's juggle is godlike. Oh you god. Uh, you know what this actually reminds me of? Um, who here has ever seen the, the Venture Bros? Go Team Venture? Uh -oh. Yes. There, it, there was a scene where uh, Brock runs into a cyborg, and he's like, Cyborg, huh? Let's see how uh, cybernetic, and then he kicks him where it hurts the most. That, you just uh, summed up every cyborg joke ever, you know? That's not very impressive. And then we go ahead and knock him out, and we're good. That was not very hard. Maybe it was because... He didn't have his wife for arm. Um... Yeah, he didn't know what he was fighting for. It. Yeah, and all he's saying to himself, "Darn it! I knew I should have gone with two red eyes. Why was I so cheap?" Oh no! No, but there is your two red, two red eyes. Actually, there is five of them. <laughs> So now we're, we're gonna see some crazy bullshit. Quick, no, no, do we're... something! They're multiplying. Oh. Kill them with fire before they lay eggs. No, no, here we go. Crazy bullshit, do sex, Maki to go. Sonic scream. Iron cannon ready. Or are you going to... Nuclear oh, no, launch! Dominique is a robot! No, it's Iron Cannon. Not going to launch. But... Ugh. Are you going to drop Space Station on them? Probably drop Space Station on And you know, I'm not very impressed yet. And I wonder why you needed to escort her. I know, right? Dominique, okay, so robot, she actually had the power ass. of camera. That was quite beautiful, actually. Oh no, smoke is coming. Oh. Uh, here's oh, another reference. Also. I was about to say she activated the power of friendship, but... You bastard, you're no. still alive? Unfortunately, she's running on Windows 98, so that sucks. God damn it, Steve! Well, maybe she's a AOL trial disk. Maybe that'll fix it. Yeah, I don't see why not. We've only got like 16 of those trial disks. Man, level least, least Steve can jump. Must be the shoes. Again, as I kind of spoiled earlier if anybody was paying attention Dominique is actually actually Durgon's dead sister so he built a replacement question why is Brick shit House being the Mr. Exposition because he used to be a Mikado security officer not to mention he can handle the punch when a boyfriend gets mad and goes it's not true it's I mean, impossible! Now we, have, now we have whiny protagonist syndrome going on. I can't believe it's a cease. No Square Games complete without it. Right now, yep. She needs you. See her. Least, least he got right style of ha hair for this right? emotion. Or else we'll never know the truth.
Though I want to know where all these square protagonists get their hair gel. It's super glue, actually. Yeah, I'm not putting super glue. They all turned look and would say, "What's hair gel?" I I'm thinking more that they're they, like Saiyans. They, they're like Saiyans. Their hair never changes from the day they are born. No, they unless they get super, in which case it grows bigger and. Old. Actually, actually, they don't have hair at all. They just have plastic models that they put on their head. Yeah, well, they're actually all bald. It's just the plastic, you know, makes it so they, yeah, you know, they look slightly different. Stay on your toes, Sion. But hey, I actually got uh. to say something this time. We've gone too long without a reference. Someone make a reference. Oh, robot. They're already stopping. <laughs> they're started the pallet swapped uh, enemies now. I mean, they've uh, gone too long without a reference. I just made a Dragon Ball Z one. Yeah, that is true. Here's my question: Have we already had the traditional "was a boss, now is a common enemy"? No. Wait, seriously? Haven't we only had like three bosses, and they were all characters? Two of the well, yeah. two of them. Okay. Two of them were used three times, and it was Steve, Steve, and Steve. Well, you Steve, can't really Steve. say no to punching Steve can and you? the chick. A giant oh, shark. Are, are they planning Steve, to send this thing you to the Always try to stop us. No, they're planning on using no. this space shuttle to shoot the moon. <laughs> Close, but actually, you set the thing in reverse, so we're actually going below the surface. Oh, look, it's a... Uh, not... Hey, Reese, boss. Oh, neat. Look, it's knuckles. It's... it's... Uh, boo, Echidna. But we don't have time to play with you now. I've had enough of your mockery. You haven't changed at all. Uh... Yeah. Ever since you became a special she looks rather fine from around. jumping off the moving train to the river. I'm not letting any of you get near the Galios. Sure, yeah, she Wesker. No sure, you won't let me get near the Galios. I uh, yeah, I have actually question, Nico. Yeah. Okay. Did you actually ever need to? We do recording because you pick a wrong guy. Uh, n no, I, I always went into this recording wanting to choose Ko to play as Ko because I like Ko as a character. Yeah, uh, no, no. So I, mean, I was always. No, yeah, he's he's asking if you have you made a mistake in the record uh, during recording to where you said, "Oh, I gotta reset." Like, did you accidentally pick Vault once or twice? No, no. Uh, for some reason, I don't believe you. Hey, come on. I'm, I'm sure each of us has at least made like one or two mistakes while recording and had the restart. I have it. Because I'm absolutely flawless. And he uh -huh. Unlike Fulton and Xi'an, who are currently uh, taking naps. Ugh. You were asking for a mistake. There's your mistake right there. Womp womp. One yeah, can no, only get three indeed. And by oh, the way, sir. the game over sends you directly back to the title screen. Um, well, Going with the uh, old school arcade style approach, I see. Yeah, and what were you going to say, Worm? Does it matter? Yes, it that does. Happens. Can I say things? Yeah. You weren't using interpretive dance, so you didn't make her your friend. Are they planning to send this thing into orbit? Uh, clearly, she was using interpretive dance on my face. <laughs> was the message clear enough for you? <laughs> yeah. Make sure to always skip cutscenes. <laughs> Hell hath 
No fury. Yay, cutscene skip. <laughs> That's the one thing that they did right with this game is like, okay, let's add a cut, let's add a skip scene, skip for this. I think they did the ragdolls right. Early, early square, and and, and you can skip cutscenes. What game was this released at? The, what year? It was uh, 2001, I think it was. Yeah, 2000, PS2 launch 2001. title. It was PS2 launch Okay, title. fine, late square. Just pre- er, just pre-Squeenix. Well, it, it, and... it was pretty weird to have cutscene skipping back in the PlayStation 2 days. I can understand that, but PlayStation 2 is when it became, uh, Kind of a common practice to at least include it. Yeah, unless it was Final Fantasy game. So. Uh, any game uh, that actually brings a very interesting question: Is there any games out there that you guys love, but you really wish the, uh, would allow cutscene skipping? Now tell us where the Galios's hangar bay. Is. All of them. Too bad. Pretty much. Uh, why would you want a game to not have cutscene skipping? Yeah, because if you like the game, it's kind of stupid that you don't have stuff to cutscene skip. Especially if you are playing a second time, you are like, fuck, I have seen this already X, X plus 10 times. Fuck. I think there are some games out there that need cutscene skipping more than others. That's all. Cutscene skip no, should be they all the cuts. It should be standard. It shouldn't be, oh, some games have such great, pure artistic ability that you should not be able to skip their cutscenes. That game has not been made. Games without cutscene skips are selfish. And by the way, welcome to the longest cutscene in the game. And somehow they got the rocket fuel anyway. Well, you see, the train just stopped immediately on the tracks because momentum doesn't work, so they just went and retrieved it. Yeah, it's, it's not like a, you actually pick it. You le left, the freaking, uh, left the rocket fuel at the station. You didn't bring it. And he certainly didn't dump it into the river. So then that lady might have actually not come back. First jump from a bridge into the river, then get hit by a train. Hey, this game is silly. We all we all get it, but it's the good kind of silly. I I'm not complaining. I'm complaining because I have things and opinions that are my own and I'm angry. Ravel, ravel, ravel. Well, you're not getting your girlfriend back now. They just blasted her into space. Well, that didn't stop the squall. Yeah. Why, do you, why do you ship that big if you're just going to space? It Heck, too. what the hell is their plan? Why are they trying to go to space? It, is okay. one of them actually flying it, or is that all autopilot? Everything will be explained in the next part. And no, you were gonna won't. laugh. Yes, it will. So, uh, when does we- when do we go one-winged angel? Why do they have turrets? Where are they fighting the, the Germans? They're fighting the aliens. Alright, they, they've played Dead Space, they don't want that to happen to them. So the plan is to shoot the aliens down before they can get to the ship. No, oh, you shoot the limbs! You shoot the limbs! And not bring any alien artifacts on board. Yeah, that's pretty important. Uh, it doesn't matter which part you shoot if it's in a thousand pieces now. Yeah, if it's in was a thousand that pieces, you? there ain't nothing more. In I think it was. Or they literally got lazy and stole the character model for Riku. I 
say. You know what I think? If you do and I think she's your wingman. Okay, let's get going. Oh. With that. So they are they on the ship now? That just transistent, just kind of like that. No, they're gonna fly up there on an air carrier. Do you get to actually fly it? Wait, that's a cactar? Yeah, that's Zell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Zell has a no cactar symbol. No escape. Yeah, it has a no escape. He cactar. used to be, but before he started working for Mikado, he was a cactar exterminator. There we go. There's our references back. We're getting back on track with this. What's his tagline? What thousand needles of pain? There is no escape. And that right there with the bl flaming he's, background he's was the your commercial one. shot. Have you tried the roof? Seriously, these parking garages always have a roof spot open. Yeah, this is bullshit! It, it's Mr. Crazy Eyes again. For some reason, he was I standing see. on the top. Oh, of... God, it's Steve again. Why and how was he standing on top of the spaceship? Oh, my God, it's Zagi. Zagi from Zales of Vesperia. Oh, God. Oh god, it I have a choice, is. I'm just gonna pilot. 